Hello everyone, welcome to Lead Code Programming. I am going to discuss the problem reformat phone number. As you can see, this is an easy problem. In fact, it is one of the four problems from today's weekly contest. So let's check out the problem description. You are given a phone number as a string number. Number consists of digits, spaces, and uh, dashes. We, you would like to uh, reformat the phone number in a certain manner. So there will be some rules uh, which we need to use and reformat the given number. First, we need to remove all the spaces and dashes. Then group the digits from left to right into blocks of length 3 until there are 4 or fewer digits. The final digits are then grouped as follows. Two digits, 2 digits a single block of length 2, 3 digits a single block of length 3 and if you have 4 digits we need to make 2 blocks of length 2 each. So basically uh, we need to process the given string, remove the extra characters like uh, spaces and dashes. Then based on the length of the string uh, we need to uh, form different blocks like blocks of uh, 3 characters each or finally if you have uh, a length of 4 characters then we need to apply 3 rules as described here. For two digits, a, a new block, or if there are three digits, then, uh, that will be considered as a new block. If there are four digits, then you need to consider uh, them as two blocks of two characters each. Then uh, we need to add the dashes again uh, between each block. Then finally, return the answer. And as they mentioned here, uh, we don't end up having a length of uh, one character when we are processing this one. So they will make sure that the input is such a way that we end up with either length 2 or 3 or 4 uh, digits at the last. So finally we need to return the phone number after applying all these rules and reformatting the uh, given phone number. And let's see the examples here. So the number here is this one. We have hyphens here, dashes, then a space. So we need to remove them and then reformat according to the above rules. So here we have uh, number of digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 digits. So that is more than 4. So we need to first start applying the rule of uh, block of 3. So first we group uh, 3 digits to 1 block, then we add a hyphen or dash, then remaining uh, digits there are again 3 so we group them into one group. Then in the example 2 we have 1, 2, 7, so 7 digits and we remove the space and dash. Then here again we have more than 4, so first we start applying the block of 3 rule. So first 3 digits will become 1, 2, 3, then add a hyphen. Then we have exactly 4 digits. So when we have 4 or less, uh, the number of digits are 4 or less, then we need to apply the rules mentioned here. There are 3 rules, 2, 3, 4, uh, corresponding to a length of 2, 3, 4. So here, uh, so because we have 4 digits, because we have 4 digits, then we need to consider them as 2 blocks of 2 each. So finally, your answer will be 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, then 6, 7. Similarly, in the last example, we have 8 characters here. So you start with 3 digits, then you group them to uh, 1, 2, 3, then you, have, you add a hyphen. Then we have more than 4 here, so we still continue uh, grouping them into uh, 3 digits each. Then we have 4, 5, 6, then finally we have uh, 2 digits left, so we consider them as a 1 block. So answer will be 1, 2, 3, hyphen, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. And similarly, the last example we have 1, 2, which is less than or equal to 4. So less than 4, so we just uh, have them as a 1, 2 without any uh, dash. Similarly here we have, uh, we remove unnecessary hyphens and spaces, then group them into 3 blocks, uh, 3 digits blocks each. Then finally last 4 digits we group them into 2 blocks of uh, 2 characters each. And looking at the constraints, uh, the number length can, uh, the phone number length can go from 2 till 100. And as uh, described above, the number will consist only of the characters, digits and the characters hyphen and space. And there will be at least two digits in the given number. So the constraints are pretty small So uh, and we don't need to uh, discuss any further. The problem is pretty straightforward. We just have to apply the rules given here. So let's just uh, check the code. We will see both Java and C++. So uh, first thing what we need to do is we just have to remove the uh, spaces and hyphens because that will make our uh, string processing pretty easier otherwise it will be uh, more complicated then uh, so for every character we just check if it is space if it is slash or if it is hyphen because the string can have a slash as well slash and hyphen 
so we ignore all those characters and just take the remaining uh, digits so finally we have the uh, string in temporary variable then you process the temporary variable based on the length so we have count to keep track of the block length whether it is 3 or whether it is 2 or whether it is 4 uh, such way that uh, then we have index just to make sure that uh, uh, to copy the uh, current character so we go through every character in the temporary string which is which, which doesn't have any hyphen or space or even uh, slash and so there are uh, basically there are two rules so one uh, condition that we need to take care is if the length is less than or equal to 4 we need to apply uh, three rules uh, rule of uh, length 3 rule of length 2 and rule of length 4 and if it is more than 4 then we need to group them into blocks of 3 so for every character we maintain count and we take the character to the result so result is what we are going to return finally and then whenever the count becomes 3 that means we group and we add that 3 characters to, the, to our result so I mean we just add one hyphen so that we separate the blocks of uh, 3 characters each then we reduce the length uh, 3 from our length so this is just to make sure that we finally know that our length is less than or equal to 4 or not so to handle that case we just decrement our length then we reset the count to 0 and increment our index so that we know uh, what is our current position in the string so when uh, count is equal to 0 and less than or equal, uh, length is less than or equal to 4 we need to make sure uh, we have we need to handle uh, three cases so if length is 3 then you add three characters so you take substring from the current index so which keeps track of uh, current index here from here so substring will give you this is the starting index and this will be the length so we need three characters from the starting index similarly if length is 2 then you take a substring of two characters and if it is so else case else case is nothing but the length is 3 so in that case you make two blocks of uh, two characters each and you need to separate them with hyphen so again substring of 2 then substring of uh, starting index will be id idx plus 2 then length of 2 so that should be uh, that should work fine so finally we result, uh, return our result let's check an example yeah, it works fine let's submit and check yeah so runtime of 0 milliseconds faster than 100 percent of online submissions let's look at uh, java solution it is same except that the substring function will be slightly different in java so it's same we just pre-process the string first we need to initialize unlike c++ we need to initialize the string here in java then we form the temporary string without any uh, additional characters that are not required then we have again a result string then we handle a length of less uh, than or equal to 4 and blocks of length 3 this is same except that uh, please note that the substring here is here we need to give starting index same as c++ but here instead of length we need to give end index so that's why we, here we are having idx plus 3 so that will be our end index similarly here idx plus 2 and then again here idx plus 2 and your, here our starting index will be idx plus 2 and end index will be idx plus 4 so that is the only difference between c++ and java and this should work uh, fine let's just check it it works fine let's submit and check the time complexity yeah so runtime of 10, millise 10 milliseconds so let's look at the time complexity so basically we are just uh, processing the string once here pre-processing so that will that means we are if the string of length of string is n the time complexity till here will be in the order of n and again we are processing the string again uh, so that string will be uh, approximately of length n so a little less than n because we remove unnecessary characters and again we are processing the string uh, whole string once so this is again o of n so it will be in the order of o of 2 star n so which is again 2 is a constant so we ignore and uh, it will be in the order of o of n so that's why it is 0 milliseconds and 10 milliseconds so this is a pretty uh, fast solution so and yeah that's it and space complexity we are not using any additional space other than the string uh, length so that will be 
if we don't consider a string a result string it will be o of 1 if we consider result string in the space complexity it will be o of uh, n approximately o of n yeah so that's it thanks for watching